Okay, hi there. Uh, this short video explains the concept of hit and run competition and looks at some topical examples. So what is hit and run competition? This is a concept you'll come across when you study contestable markets. And hit and run competition occurs when a business temporarily perhaps enters a market or a segment of a market and then leaves when they think the supernormal profits, the abnormal profits, have been exhausted. Hit and run competition is considered to be a major, really important feature of a contestable market. The key definition of a contestable market is that the barriers to entry and exit are low. Indeed, in a perfectly contestable market, there are no sunk costs, costs you can't recover if you leave the market, low or no sunk costs, reduces the risk of market entry. So typically, hit and run competition is when you get the, the appearance of a challenger brand or a challenger product to, if you like, challenge the existing market power of dominant firms. So some examples, if you take the UK supermarket industry, uh, digging down, you're seeing lots of new products entering the, the free from gluten free space because they think going forward, there's some potential profit to be made. Lots of good examples in the sports drink sector, increasingly people taking protein supplements, uh, protein drinks and sports drinks of different types. Really good example of how this particular market can get saturated with very similar but differentiated products. In America, Zoom Pizza is regarded as one of the big challenges to Domino's. One of the features of Zoom is that they have pizza oven vans which go around cooking pizzas to order and then presumably delivering more quickly than the Domino's franchise can do. That's definitely one worth watching. In China, Lukin or Luckin Coffee has now more outlets, more coffee stores than Starbucks in China. It is one of the big challenges <coughs> pardon me, to the monopoly power of Starbucks in China. Occasionally, you get some product copying. It's a form of hit and run competition. Uh, just last year, there was uh, a furore, uh, a controversy about uh, Waitrose producing an own label chocolate that bore, as you can see, a very similar, a canny resemblance to the highly profitable and successful chocolates produced by Hotel Chocolat. And there's loads of good, other good examples. Oftentimes in supermarkets, you get a cluster of very similar products and businesses copy as best they can what they perceive to be a successful a successful product or a successful brand. So there we go. That's a quick introduction to hit and run competition. Great phrase to use in an exam question on contestable markets.